In this case, we continue with a volumetric augmentation of the soft tissue of the zygomatic region. In order to facilitate this implantation and guarantee the symmetry of the implant, we can use the marking of some points of reference, the same as used for the surgical implantation of the zygomatic or malar prosthesis. We also mark the limit of the inferior orbital arch, above which we should avoid any filling. We now have limited the area in which we want to perform an augmentation of the volume. It is a good idea to fix two or more basic injection points at each side, which can help in locating the injection site of the needle. Using these injection sites, we can reach the whole area to infiltrate without extracting the needle completely from the skin. We verify the symmetry of all the reference points. They will be very useful if oedema immediately after the injection makes it difficult to obtain symmetry of the two parts. We proceed with the disinfection of the skin after application of the anesthetic gel. We start the injections using the previously marked injection points, from which we can cover the whole area to fill. Using the retrograde method of injection, we can deposit thin lines of Aquamid in a fan-shaped manner in the subcutaneous layer. The fan-shaped form of thin lines of Aquamid has to be repeated in parallel lines deeper in the tissue involving the superficial aponeurotic muscular layer, but without letting the needle exit completely using the same dermal channel. We now proceed with the rest of the marked area, injecting at the second injection point using the same method and without passing the line of the orbital arch. The same retrograde technique with fan-shaped lines from the subcutaneous layer to the superficial layer of the aponeurotic muscle. We verify the position of the implant with a delicate palpation. We proceed with a further augmentation of the medial part of the marked area using the same technique until reaching the desired volume. Palpating the infiltrated area, we can feel how the tissue maintains an optimal elasticity and a homogeneous consistency in order to obtain a natural result. 